Ed Sanders, I don't know. You all know what there is to know about him. He's, he's always been a hero to me. He, he's done so much. He changed poetry. He moved rock and roll. He did all of this. He's taking some time out from his uh, effort to write a, a long-length poem about Robert Kennedy to come here and uh, entertain us tonight. And I'm thankful for that. But mostly what I appreciate about Ed is a little known facet of his career, the time that he spent as an investigative journalist. He, you know, he could have been a rock and roll star. He could have been a lot of things. But he went back to some place and reported on that place to great effect. And of all the things I admire about him, I think that's the thing I admire about him most. But you know what? I like that fudge stuff too. So let's see what happens here. It's always a pleasure to come to Foster. I came here in my early 20s to see Charles Olson. And it's, it's, I remember all the books in his apartment. But, but, uh, in order to make tea for us, uh, the drummer for the Fugs and I came up here. He had to clear books off his uh, oven to make the tea. <laughs> And uh, I was a young poet, uh, and Charles accepted me right away. He kept referring to these people, he kept calling somebody Tom. And then I realized he was talking about T.S. Eliot. And then he was talking about Bill. I wonder who in the hell, and I remember it was William Carlos Williams. So. <laughs> I felt at home uh, coming up here. Uh, and he would go to two restaurants. I noticed that. I mean, I was uh, straight, you know, we'd go to a Chinese restaurant and then adjourn to an Italian restaurant. He was, uh, was six foot seven, so. And then uh, I was in rock and roll and I, I knew Janis Joplin pretty well. And uh, I knew she was doing an album called Cheap Thrills. And uh, she needed songs. So Charles Olson was in San Francisco. At that time, I was in San Francisco and hanging out with Janice. And I said, you know, I know this great poet. And why don't you uh, have a date with him? And, you know, and he, they both were single at the time. So I thought, you know, I could fix up a great poet with a great singer, and, and maybe he would write her a song. So we go out. We got Grove Press to pay for the dinner. <laughs> Except Charles Olson started talking about the Donner Party. <laughs> and Janis Joplin went off to play pool. <laughs> but, uh, I'll start. Uh, uh, with... Uh, some fragments of Charles's poetry that I've put together. Uh, one is the final uh, poem in Maximus II, I set out now in a box upon the sea, which is incredibly brilliant two-line poem. And then with fragments uh, from different Maximus poems. Set out now in a box upon the sea. So few have the polis in their eye. I set out now in a box. Upon the sea I'm going to hate To leave this earthly paradise I set out now In a box 
upon the sea. The great ocean is angry. It wants a perfect child. I sent out now in a box upon the sea. My wife, my car, my color, and myself. I set out now in a box upon the sea.